The word data means many different things to people. Some perceive it as a test or quiz, while others look at it as something collected either before or after learning has occurred. In this module, we are going to be thinking of data as something that is continual, a tool that you are able to use to help guide students through learning. Think of this type of data as ongoing, information used to push students forward towards their learning goals. There are many different digital tools that WCPS has already purchased for you to use to collect and monitor student learning. In this module, we are going to explore how to use APEX tutorial data to help change instruction. APEX equips administrators, teachers, and students with the real-time progress and performance data to make informed decisions by using intuitive dashboards, real-time data, and student ownership. Intuitive dashboards are organized to present student and class information intuitively so that data is easily accessed when it is needed. Measured performance against standards gain insight into student usage and progress and determine program effectiveness. Real-time data is an extensive data network that provides you with a robust picture of student achievement as it's occurring. Concepts students are struggling with and where they are excelling can quickly be identified to inform instructional decisions. Student empowerment. At all times, your students are able to see where they are, how they are doing, and what they need to do. Visuals to track progress along individualized learning paths offer dynamic feedback that motivates students to excel. So let's dive into APEX to see exactly how we are able to use data to inform instruction. Take a minute to pause this video to log into APEX. When you are ready to continue the rest of the module, select Play. So when you log into APEX, you will see your dashboard located right under the menu, and you'll see your school. Uh, so where it says all organizations, an organization is just a school, you will see your school name, and then you'll see your classrooms where all of the courses and the tutorials that you have access to are located. So to find the data, you're going to simply select the tutorials data. You're going to find your course, and you don't want to click on the actual course because it will take you into the tutorial, but instead you want to come over here to where these three bars are. That is where all of your data is located. So if you select the three bars, it will bring you to a classroom overview. Now the classroom overview is where all of your data for each tutorial is located. So as you can see, we have a performance, which is a quality of work. Um, shows you the progress and the percent of which is complete. And then it also shows you all of the students that are enrolled in that particular tutorial. Now, it's nice because you can organize your data any way that you see fit. So you can organize your students by their first name and their last name. Um, you can uh, click on the quality of work so you can see um, that whenever I clicked the arrow it changed how the students were organized so it shows you the student who's performing best to worst or you can see it worst to best if you click on percentage complete it will do the same thing you click the down arrow and it show you the student who is um, has the most complete and how well they're performing it will show you the total session time, so how long they have worked on the tutorial, and when they last accessed it. Take a minute to pause this module to reflect on what you have heard so far. What do you see? What do you think? And what do you wonder? After you have finished reflecting, select play to continue with the module. This is where the data gets down to the nitty gritty. So it allows me to organize my data by units and modules. The units are the big picture and the modules are topics with inside of the unit. So I know that's a little bit different from what WCPS does, um, but for APEX sake, it really allows you to dive deep into to the data of what the students are actually doing and how they're they're working towards the standard. So for the sake of today, we're going to look at modular data, which are just the topics inside of the units. And if I select 
Um, all of these topics, it gives me every topic that is addressed within the, in the module and in the unit, um, and all of the students in those modules. I can then sort my modules um, by how well students performed. So if I want to see um, students and how they performed, um, all of the students below 70% on each individual topic, then I simply click on the sort by. It allows you to click on particular students um, within the red bar. So it tells me here that there are four students who scored below 70% on arithmetic operations on functions. And when I click on that bar, all four of those students pop up below. So as you can see, I have all four students who are scoring 40%, I'm sorry, 70% 70% or below on arithmetic operations and functions. So I have the quality of work that they're doing. So demo student number two is only doing 30% working towards standards. So he's scoring about 30%. Um, on his pretest, he only knew about 20% of the work. So it tells me that he's kind of increasing as he's working through. Um, and then he received a 40% um, on the test. Um, which tells me that he's growing, but he probably needs to come back to it and I need to really help him with some small group personalized learning. Now, if I click on that 40%, I also get to see his exact test. So I see every question that he completed, if he got things correct or incorrect, what answer he selected, um, and where his, shortfall, his shortfalls are. Uh, so that allows me to go back and really fine-tune instruction for that child. Now that you have seen the type of data that APEX can provide, reflect on the following questions. How can you use APEX data to better understand where your students are on their way to their learning goal? And how can I use this data to make immediate instructional changes for my students? Take a minute to pause this video to go back and reflect on any data that you may have collected while giving an assessment. Once you are ready, select play to move on to the closing part of the module. Hopefully during the course of this module, you have been given an opportunity to really look at the specific data that APEX offers and develop a few questions that you would like to find answers for. In closing, please remember that teachers and students gain valuable knowledge about learning when they are able to use data to make decisions. APEX provides both a bird's eye view as well as detailed and specific information about how well a student has performed, making data analysis easy and ready to use immediately. I encourage you to explore your own student data and reach out to others to help you better understand how to use it to support your students instructionally.